My, 27M. Girlfriend, 26F. Doesn't understand why we can't go on a cruise right now. L. We had been dating for three years and things have usually been sweet. We went on a couple of cruises together and had fun. However, I lost my job very recently due to layoffs caused by inflation. Thankfully, I had a ton of money saved up but I was determined to not spend on anything that isn't essential until I get a new job. My girlfriend did not take it well. She keeps saying we should take a cruise we had previously planned. I showed her expenses but she still isn't taking this well up to the point she slaps me for not listening to her. How do I get her to wake up to reality and have her realize that until income comes in, we can't afford to go on cruises? Wow. She slapped you for not having the expenses to go on a cruise? That isn't right. Cancel it. Tell her she can go alone. How often does she put hands on you like that? Thank you everyone. Great advice and I'm going to let her go and get help for myself. Dude she sounds awful. Disconnected from your current reality and willing to slap as if that's going to get her what she wants. It does not matter that it was a light slap. Most people go through entire relationships without ever slapping or getting slapped. Not cool. So her reaction to disappointment is to assault your? That would be the end of it for me. Someone hits me once. That's it. If she wants to treat you to a cruise on her dime? Cool. But you're being smart not to spend a penny on anything not critical when you don't have income. She domestically abuses you, because she isn't getting her own way. She hits you mate. Just because she's a woman doesn't make this any better than if it was a man hitting his wife because she lost her job and can't go on holiday. Leave her. You shouldn't stay in a relationship with someone who would put hands on you, period. Doesn't matter that she's not strong enough to physically hurt you, or that you would be able to defend yourself if you did and left a mark on her. I would bet money on you ending up in jail before she did. It's sad to me that you're making excuses for her abusing you. Anyone who would hit you because you're not giving them their way is a shit person, man or woman. You deserve better. My soon-to-be ex-wife came to the house today and asked if we can give it another try. About a month ago, I found out my wife cheated on me with a former friend. We have a daughter together and she stays with her on weekdays and spends the weekends with me. She hasn't gave any signs she wants to reconcile our relationship. Today out of the blue, she came to my house and asked if we could talk. She was pretty straightforward and told me that she wanted to give it another try. I was surprised because like I said she hasn't said anything to me or her sister who I've been with in contact with a lot. She just said she blinded and that she misses me and that she's so stupid for cheating on me. That nobody could replace me. All this while crying. I told her in low voice that what she did was unforgivable. I admitted to her that I missed her but I just can't trust her anymore. She just shook her head and tried to hug me but I asked her not to. She left but I started dwelling on the fact that I still do love and do miss her. I miss the early relationship Maria. She was so funny and charismatic. She was and still is beautiful. I'm just lost right now. Anyone else go through this? Your post history says her first reaction was to blame you and she didn't show any remorse. You said in an earlier post that the guy was a toxic poss. Well he either fucked her over and said get lost or she realized this guy is a fucking loser. Either way you're her backup. Don't be the backup. Remember her initial reaction to you confronting her. Sounds like her other relationship fell apart. I guarantee you, your former friend wanted nothing more with your wife, or she realized the grass wasn't greener on the other side and that's the only reason she came back as most cheaters try to do. Now that reality smacked her in the face she wants to come back and act like everything's all good. You're making the right choice. How could you ever trust her again? Good luck. She didn't think of you, or you family, at all, while she was getting fucked by that other guy. First. Take a DNA test on your daughter. You never know. Second. Yeah, her side piece dumped her ass and now, she wants you back because she wants the comfort you provided. Please, don't take her back. Have some self-respect. Try the subreddit r, surviving infidelity, as that group's geared to exactly what she's asking you to do. Checking it out and reading or posting might give you additional insight that you might not get here. He fabricated his entire relationship in shock. I started dating a guy a couple of years ago. When we talked about our exes, he said he had one girlfriend before, someone he dated for around a nine months, and they split because they had different ideas of life. I quickly realized a few weeks in that something was odd about him it felt like he had zero relationship experience in bed, he seemed like a virgin the first time we had sex, in our interactions, 
He didn't understand normal relationship things. I had to explain everything to him. It was like dating a teenage boy. He was early 30s at the time. He then turned extremely abusive, shouting at me all the time, hurling insults, etc. etc. I started to wonder if he had treated her the same way, and how she had managed to cope. After a considering it for a while, I reached out to this, ex, to see if he had treated her the same way, the abuse. Her response completely shocked me. She said she had never dated him, they were only friends, never touched or kissed him. I am honestly disgusted. He told me intimate details about them told me they had sex, told me she cried when they broke up, turns out all of it was a lie. He was a virgin when I met him. I was his first relationship. He even told me that she wouldn't moan as much as me, didn't need as much reassurance as me, etc. She told me they were friends and that's all they ever were and she blocked him because of his weird behavior. I feel so creeped out and disgusted. She was shocked too and sounded disgusted that he would make up an entire relationship. I honestly had no idea he was lying. None at all. Thoughts? You're no longer dating him, right? I count two red flags in your relationship. First is the obvious, he lied to you. Some might argue he was scared to tell the truth but it doesn't justify the constant lying. Second he is verbally abusive to you, that's not right in any shape. Do yourself a favor and ditch this loser, as they say in Futurama, something don't smell right. He is not a normal person and I fear things might escalate. Sounds like a psycho. Thanks everyone for the replies yes we are broken up. I read a lot about narcissism and the false self, it is scaring chilling stuff. I also found out from someone else that he was kicked out of his last job for poor behavior, didn't get along with anyone etc. I feel duped. The person below who said he lied to get with me because no other sane person would that is exactly my feeling right now. I feel sick and disgusted. I'm so sorry this happened to you. I hope you're away from him now. My advice is you work on yourself some. Go to the gym. Pick a good routine. Get into it. Only work out your dominant arm. Put on 40 pounds of muscle on it and yeet this guy off a moving fucking train. My, 18 male, girlfriend, 18, is attracted to my dad, 40 male. Just like the title says, my girlfriend of 6 months is attracted to my dad. They first met about 2 months into our relationship when she came over for dinner. They seemed to get along pretty well although my dad isn't a very talkative guy. Then two weeks later me, my girlfriend and my dad went on his boat for a weekend. And throughout the whole weekend she kept checking him out. It was super obvious. Not only that but on the first day there she said that my dad is, so hot, and yeah my dad is objectively attractive, he's in great shape. After that weekend on the boat she kept asking me to do stuff with my dad. She also insists on spending time with him when she's over at mine instead of just the two of us. I'm not a jealous person but her behavior makes me uncomfortable but I love her and I don't want to break up her. But I also feel like she's with me just to get closer to my dad. What do I do? Cut loose. Dude she's literally looking over your shoulder to see what your dad's up to. Do you want this in your relationship? How many months or years are you going to put up with her staring with puppy eyes at your dad? Do you think she'll snap out of it, suddenly go off him? Or do you think her 18-year-old hormones will get to her and she'll get so frustrated she'll shoot her shot with him? Why live with the insecurity? You say you love her, but she seems to have eyes for your dad. So why stay in a relationship where only one of you is looking kindly at the other? Piss on your dad's leg to assert dominance and then dump her. Or just dump her. Dunno. Read the room and pick one of the options. Daddy issues? Red flag. I would broke up and be prepared to see her with your dad. Drop her ASAP red flag. Advise your dad that you broke up with her due to her inappropriate behavior towards him and blatant disrespect to our relationship. Let him know that she cannot come between us to tear our family apart with her misbehavior. And that you expect him to not entertain her coming over or decide to see her then after you're broke up. This is a deal breaker if your dad's a horn dog who then thinks she is open season and your feelings don't matter. Just be alert. Sorry kid but you're losing out to your dad big time. I'd have the conversation with him.